For the sake of sensationalism, what if I told you a group of terrorists were intentionally contaminating tobacco products with alpha particulate radiation in hopes that these smokers, as they travel through the population, would spread radioactive materials throughout the community that would last decades? Well, let's take that sensationalist title away and stick with executives. Now, why would industry executives care whether a product is radioactive? Wouldn't they want to pull the radiation from the product in order to protect the public? Mm, not really. Not if it makes their product less addictive. Here we go. In an article titled, Big Tobacco, New Radioactive Part Particles Posed Cancer Risk But Kept Quiet. And this was published in September 2027, 2011, Nicotine Tobacco Research. They discovered that the tobacco industry knew back from 1959 that the high phosphate fertilizers that they were utilizing in the tobacco crops were mixed with radon gas to form two primary radioactive elements. So in that radon gas mixed with the high phosphate fertilizers, it formed polonium-210 and lead-210. Polonium, many of you may recognize as an assassin's weapon. It was concerned that Yasser Arafat was poisoned with polonium-210 and that Russian guy in Britain, well, he was definitely poisoned with polonium-210. It has a half-life of 135 days. Now this is the one that doesn't go away. Lead-210 has a half-life of 22 years. Now the researchers from 2011 discovered through biopsies that these hot spots would form in the lungs of smokers and then create cancer, which can explain a lot of ways or reasons I should say that a lot of lung cancer treatments are highly ineffective, if not totally ineffective almost. So this is what occurred. The tobacco industry, they did their own study. They had intimate knowledge of this. They knew the product was radioactive. They looked at smokers that smoked an average of two packs a day for 20 years to see exactly what happened to them from absorbing all this polonium and lead-210 over the decades to their tobacco products. So they knew. And then to top it all off, as time went on, and they knew that this radiation was actually causing problems to the smokers, they found a solution. In 1980, they found a way to get these radioactive elements out of the tobacco but decided not to. Why did they decide not to? Well, it comes down to money, not health. And again, this is still, to this day, radioactive. Nothing has been done about this. Quote, industry was concerned that the acid media would ionize the nicotine, making it more difficult to be absorbed into the brains of smokers. More difficult to be absorbed into the brains of smokers and depriving them of that instant nicotine rush that fuels their addiction, end quote. The industry not only knew this, they knew a way to get their radioactive materials out of the tobacco, saving at least 138 lives out of every 1,000 smokers over 22 years. Yes, that's what happens. The lead, the polonium-210, will kill 138 smokers horribly out of every thousand over 22 years unnecessarily. That's not only the cost of society. What is it? Lung cancer, it's about $400,000 per year to treat. In its late stage, it's over a million dollars per year to treat. They not only knew that it was radioactive, they went on an all-out campaign to attempt to ban any and all publications of tobacco and its connection to radioactivity. So, what's their crime? That's for you to decide. The government, your government, not really going to do much. But they will tell you that your tobacco is radioactive. If you go to your own EPA website, you will see, it will say how many people are exposed to radioactivity in cigarettes. And this is a quote from the EPA site. According to the American Lung Association, there are about 48 million adult smokers in the U.S. and 4.8 million adolescent smokers. This means that the U.S. population directly exposed to radioactivity in cigarette smoke is approximately 53 million. And keep in mind, that's direct exposure. These are alpha particulates. They're basically, it's like dusting something with radioactivity. It doesn't necessarily go away, even after 22 years. And the average exposure to a, a smoker over that period of time is about 50 rads, just for, your, just for you radiation buffs out there. That's it, you take it for what it's worth. 
Thanks once again. This is Ralph. Bye.